All right, time to get to guitar practice. Let's see, what am I gonna be practicing today? What? There's a Wind Waker Easter egg in Breath of the Wild? Give me one second. All right, I'm going to put this down and I'm gonna start working on my guitar. Or I could ride my motorcycle. <laughs> yeah. Look at me, look at how much of a badass I am. A motorcycle coming through. Look at, look at this jerk. Look at that jerk pretending to be productive. Hilarious. Do I care to hear it? Not from a shred pleb like yourself. All right, let's see, uh, let's see. I'll do, uh, I'll do an, a hearty drain, a uh, entire chicken. I'll do a honey, yeah, an entire honeycomb, and then uh, a little bit of wheat, because you know you gotta get your carbs in there. And uh, Goron spice, because I know exactly what that actually tastes like. All right, let's see what comes out of this. I'm very, very interested to know what comes out of this. Glazed meat. I really need to do something with my life. In the modern world today, there are a bajillion distractions, and I know a lot of people that even without the distractions, it's hard enough to find time, let alone inspiration, to go and pick up your guitar and just play it. Part of this just comes from the fact that you do get distracted by all of these things that are surrounding us today in the 21st century, but also just discouragement in general. I've been asked this by a number of my own fans and also a huge thanks to GuitarLessons.com for asking me on to figure out today how you can get inspired to play your guitar. One of the most obvious ones and a really important one, playing with other people. Whether that's getting together with some friends and having a jam with nothing attached to it, just a little bit of fun and a little bit of spontaneity creativity, or whether that's actually being in an actual band with people and creating things on the regular. Making music with other people encourages you to continue playing your instrument. Anytime you are making music with other people, you are playing your guitar. Number two, going to shows. As a person who is pretty darn competitive in nature, I like going and seeing other people and comparing how I play to them. If I see someone who plays better than me, it actually encourages me to be like, no, no, I can definitely get better than this guy and go home and start cranking it out and going back to the woodshed. On the flip side, if you're not a competitive person, being exposed directly to live inspiring music can help you think, man, this I, I just, I really wanna make music like this. Number three, have a vision. Almost everyone who has picked up a guitar picked up a guitar because they had a thought in their head of where they wanted to end up. Whether it's being an instructor, being a rock star, or just playing in a really cool band and having a good time, that vision is there and was there. You need to keep your eye on it. You need to constantly remind yourself of what that is. That vision needs to be so encapsulated in your mind that you can honestly see yourself accomplishing it. You may not accomplish it right now, but it is possible for you to get there over a long period of time. Remembering what the end vision is, is one of the biggest keys to staying inspired. Number four, make a cover of a song that you love in your own style. I do this on my channel. If a song really inspires me, I'll go out of my way to make my own version of it. A lot of times it's a metal interpretation of that song. Being able to take something that you love and put your own unique voice and unique spin on it is a form of creativity in and of itself. But not only that, you're actually learning theory and guitar technique at the same time. Learning songs that inspire you that you enjoy is going to make the learning process and the playing process more enjoyable in general. And beyond that, if you can put your own spin on it, it makes less pressure on yourself to play it exactly how it was played before, and with less pressure comes more opportunity for enjoyment. Number five, take lessons. Taking lessons from an instructor that you like who makes sure that he holds you accountable is one of the key ways of being able to make sure you regularly pick up the guitar. It gives you a set structure and a deadline on when you have to pick your guitar up, so you know, okay, in one week or a few days, I have to know how to play this, which means that if I don't know how to play it right now, and I want to make sure I know how to play it by this time, then I need to pick up the guitar between now and then. Not to mention taking lessons from instructors or places that you like can actually teach you things and inspire you to do things that you wouldn't have tried before. Say if you're a metalhead, learning some country music techniques might actually be interesting if you applied them in the metal world. A good place to learn a variety of techniques, guitario.com or guitarlessons.com. Wink, wink. Number six, going to guitar stores. Guitar shops are not only filled with tons of guitars, which is a constant reminder that you need to pick up your instrument, but 
They're also filled with people who are very passionate about their art. Whether it's engaging with other customers and learning their stories or possibly them becoming a networking hub for you or talking to the shopkeepers, they're usually always musicians. And beyond that, they actually have some really good resources for you. You can learn a lot about gear by just going into a shop and start asking questions or you can learn a lot about what's happening in your town or your region. Another thing that may inspire you is if you see a piece of gear on the wall and you're like, I need that. Well, you need to be this good in order to get it. Set yourself a performance goal. Last but certainly not least, this may be the most important thing, make sure you're having fun. A lot of new players get very frustrated because they want to play at this level and they're still at this level. And it's kind of sad because you really, I, you get it, you know where they're coming from. But at the same point, it takes a certain amount of time and a certain amount of patience to be able to get to this level. You need to keep yourself interested while you're attaining that level, which means you just need to sit down and not hold yourself as accountable while you're playing sometimes. Sometimes it's fine just to sit down and just noodle. Just play random stuff that's possibly weird, possibly stupid. Who knows, who cares? If you're enjoying it, have fun. Sometimes that means playing the exact same riff over and over again because for some reason it gives you a very satisfied feeling on the inside. You might not be playing a classical exercise to perfection, but doing the same motion over and over again builds consistency. Sometimes that comes in the form of writing a very simple song. Maybe it's just a very simple melody line and you start getting into it. When you write something that really speaks to you, regardless of how simple or complex it is, you are more susceptible to playing that piece more musically. Or if you're an advanced player, sometimes you get really bent out of shape and things feel very creatively dry because you're trying to up your skill level, but you don't want to keep doing the same stuff over and over again. Same rules apply. Go back to one of the riffs that first inspired you to pick up the guitar. Go back to some music that you've known all your life and you know you could play, but you never wanted to learn because you're like, oh, well, I'm past that. Go learn it anyway, because you're gonna have fun doing it, and believe it or not, you'll learn something. So those are my tips for you as to how to be inspired and stay inspired to pick up that guitar. You tell me, what is the thing that makes you have the most fun? on the guitar. Let me know in those comments below. If you like this video, please drop a like, please share, please leave a comment. We always appreciate that stuff here at guitarlessons.com. If you like what I do, you can follow me over on my YouTube channel, Become the Knight, Knight with a K. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Become the Knight. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Rock on!